All right, this is something different for me on my YouTube channel, a flashlight review. So this is the Through Night T2. If you're interested in hearing more about it, keep watching. All right, so the Through Night T2 was sent to me by the people at Through Night for testing and review. I did not purchase this myself. So what I thought I would do is take this down to the tabletop. We'll go over its basic specifications, its modes of operations. Then we'll get outside and do some nighttime testing with it. We'll come back. I'll talk a little bit about the pros and cons as I see it, and then we'll wrap the video up. All right, let's go over some basic specifications. And of course, I'm going to put all the information I give you now in the video description below. So the Through Night T2 flashlight measures in at 4.4 inches. The basal width is 1.2 inches and the body width is 1 inch. It comes in at 5.9 ounces with the battery in it. And the battery is a Through Night proprietary 21700 battery with a 5000 milliamp charge. It is a rechargeable flashlight and it uses the newer USB-C size, which most of the new smartphones have. It is, of course, waterproof to IP8X standards, which is 2 meters underwater and impact resistance to 1.5 meters. It comes with a few nice accessories. One is this nylon holster, which features a D-ring and a nylon web belt. Spare set of O-rings and battery charging port cover, a lanyard, and a USB-C charging cable. And of course, there is the two-way belt clip on the, on the flashlight as well. As far as performance specification goes, the Through Night T2 has a turbo mode of 3,757 lumens. That will last for two minutes, and the heat protection circuitry will bring it down to 725 lumens for another 216 minutes. It has a high mode of 1,712 lumens, which will last for three minutes before the heat protection circuitry brings it down to 732 lumens for 223 minutes. On medium, it has 366 lumens, which will last for 7.5 hours. On low, which is 30 lumens, it will last for 77 hours. And on Firefly, it has a 0.3 lumen, which will last for 69 days. It also has a strobe function, which comes in at 1450 lumens, and that will last for 5 hours. The max beam distance for this flashlight is 158 meters. Operation of the Through Night T2 is very simple. There is a side button only. There is no tail button on this flashlight. And to use it, you just simply press the button to turn it on. If you want to cycle through the different brightness settings, you, turn, you hold the button down. It will cycle low, medium, and high. Turn it off and turn it back on. It'll come back in at the same intensity it was before you turned it off. To access the Firefly mode from the off position, hold the button down. The light will come in at 0.3 lumens. Not very bright in a room lit up like the way mine is right now, but plenty bright in a darkened room. To access the strobe, you double click the same button, 1, 2, and now you're in the flashlight's highest setting. To access the strobe, triple click it, 1, 2, 3, and you've got a continuous strobe flash. Charging the Through Night T2 is accomplished by opening up the rubber port, which reveals a USB Type C fast charging port. When you plug the cable in to recharge this, the light that's in the center of the on-off button will turn red until the light is fully charged, and at which point it will turn blue. Also, while the flashlight is in use, there is a real-time indicator of battery life. The light will indicate, based in the center of the on-off switch, if the light is blue, it has greater than 21% charge. If the light turns red, it has between 11 and 20%, and if the light turns flashing red, it has less than 10% telling you it's time to recharge. Also, if you want to use the flashlight while you're recharging, you can do so, but only in Firefly and low modes. Okay, now that we've gone over the Through Night T2 in some detail, let's get outside and do some nighttime testing. So testing with the Through Night T2, this is in low mode. Uh, it has sufficient illumination for me to see where I'm going on a, a trail that I know well enough, and not too many obstacles along the way. Let's move it up to medium. Much better. There's enough illumination with, with the flashlight at this point that I could hike all night long, pretty much any trail, without any concerns for missing anything. And what I really like about it is the flood on this flashlight. It may not penetrate as far, far into the woods as some do, but it's uh, excellent with its wide field of view. 
All right, let's move this through night T2 up to high. Gray penetration, quite a good distance into the woods, but again, it's the flood that really impresses me with this flashlight. Now let's see if we can get it to turbo. Outstanding. Now I know it's not going to last very long at this intensity, but that's okay. High and medium are just fine, and I'm going to get a good long run time on them. All right, very quickly, let's just go over the intended use for this flashlight as well as some of the pros and cons. So I think Through Night nailed it when they refer to this as an EDC or everyday carry flashlight. And that's because of the relatively short length, relatively narrow diameter, and deep pocket clip, which allows me to carry this in my pocket mostly unobtrusively. Now, it is a little heavier than a lot of flashlights in its class. However, that's due to that 5000 milliamp battery, which does give me the extended run times, especially in the lower brightnesses. Now, that weight also can be a bit of a con in, in, this, mat, in this fashion. Uh, one of the things that I've seen through night advertises is as an uh, improvised headlamp. And yes, you can carry it that way. And let me just demonstrate. So using a ball cap, that two-way pocket clip can be, allow this flashlight to be set onto the brim of a ball cap. However, when you put it on, it is heavy and wants to drop forward. So yes, you can use it this way, but you're not going to use it for a long period of time, but it can work that way. One aspect of the Through Night T2 I think you should be aware of is just how hot the tip of the flashlight gets when it's in turbo or in high modes. Not so hot that it has blistered my fingers, but I think it's hot enough that it could melt some items that it comes in contact with. Just something to be aware of and make sure that it's not turned on and left on in the high modes. Of course, it does shift down after two minutes in the turbo and three minutes in the high mode. So you shouldn't have that issue, but just something to be reminded of. Also, finally, now this is not a, any kind of a deal breaker. It's more of a personal opinion, and that is the strobe. While highly effective, it's also very fast, and I would prefer to see a slower strobe for use as a beacon if I'm out in the woods and I need to signal somebody where I'm at. A, st a slower strobe or even an SOS would be more beneficial. So my final thoughts on the Through Night T2 flashlight, I like it a lot. It works well for me in my intended use. I like that I can carry this with me on camping trips and it will serve me in all the functions I need it there. But I also like it that it's small enough and relatively light that I can carry this in my backpack or even a shoulder bag when I'm going out for a day hike, especially this time of year where the sun is setting so early in the afternoon. It's important that you carry some type of light, either a headlight or a flashlight like this one with you, just in case you're out after dark so that you can find your way out of the woods or you can signal assistance if that's what you're looking for. Okay, I'm going to get, leave all the information about where you can purchase the Through Night T2 in the video description below. If you have any questions on the Through Night T2, please put them in the comments section below. But until I come back to you with another video, get out and explore and take that path less travel because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.